Michigan. Hey, I'm Chris with CarryOnUSA.com, Mobility Solutions. I'm out here at Bob's car and Carol's car, and uh, hold this, Bob. All right. You might have to hold that towards. And the reason for this video is they just got back from Japan. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I asked, when they brought it back, I asked Chris how the scooter did for him, and uh, they said they, they did great. So let us know. They wanted to tell people. So I said, let me go out there and shoot a video with him. So you can't really see him, but he's a big dude. Can you, how, how, how much do you weigh and how tall are you, if you I'm, don't mind? I'm 6'3", and, and I weigh 255. Okay, so that's a that's a good-sized person on the carry-on scooter, even though it holds 300 pounds. I don't like to max anything out. I've had people actually bigger that have mm -hmm. gone a lot of different places, but the, the what's cool about it is how it folds up. We're talking about this scooter right here, by the way. And they traveled to Japan, which is super cool. I actually have another person that I think went to Japan with it also. So how was the experience going through the airport? Well, going through the airport, the um, carry-on people, the, the pushers, the guys that uh, help you with wheelchairs, they would prefer that you'd be in a regular wheelchair, only because that's how their insurance covers them. Which was no problem for us, you know, because we just went right up the ticket counter, pushed a couple buttons, collapsed it, gave it to the ticket agent. She said, no problem, it's a medical device. And because it's a medical device, there's no baggage charge, which is a big plus. It is. Um, and then once they do that, then it's under the care of the airline until you get to where you're going. Once you get to where you're going, it's the same kind of policy. Insurance companies and lawyers have worked this out, trust me. They would prefer that it be treated as luggage and put you in a company-covered wheelchair. And But the pushers, this is a thing that really helps out a whole lot. The pushers are the people that push the wheelchair. That's what they call themselves, the pushers. They handle all of your baggage, everything. They pull that, they handle it, they put it in whatever it is it needs to be put in. In our case, once we got there, the um, it got it was put into our motor train, and uh, we, you know, uh, we got to the to the ship, and uh, then the ship's uh, personnel just picked it up, they gave us two wheelchairs and pushers and run us up the ramp and there was a, there was the uh, chair sitting by our stateroom door and we, to reassemble it, it, it it's absolutely simple. It, it can't be any simpler than, than the way it's set up. Um, and it took, took us less than five minutes to set it up and, and get it going and check it out. The batteries, I know the batteries look little, you know, and you might think, oh my God, I'm gonna run out of battery power. Not even. I ran this thing from about eight in the morning and we went up 14 decks. Oh wow. You know, t to the wind jammer and uh, where we had breakfast and everything. All around the ship. Up one end, down the other. Now that ship's over a thousand feet long. That's three football fields. What ship was it? Uh, the Quantum of the Seas. Quantum of the Seas, remember that. And, and, you... and that's three football fields. So if you happen to get a stateroom in the bow, you're gonna be walking three football fields to dinner, you know, and breakfast and whatever. That battery only went down one green mark. Awesome. And the key, the key to the whole deal, so you don't have any problems with it faltering, in the evening, when you're done, plug it in. Plug it in and recharge. Doesn't take long. That thing will recharge pretty fast, uh, faster than my phone. And uh, also, if, if you're going to just maybe stay in for the afternoon, get an opportunity, just plug it in. We never needed the second battery. Okay, cool. You know there was a phone charger on that scooter, right? No, I did not okay. know. Well, they rented one, and we probably didn't go over all the things with them, which we probably should have. But yeah, there was, just so oh. you know. Um, but besides that, y'all, so y'all, y'all probably couldn't really enjoy 
the cruise or your trip without it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you no. wouldn't have been able to do anything. I wouldn't have been able. Because you and can't the, walk that far. And the worst part was we had a little heavy seas. We were up in the wind jammer up in the 14th deck. And as you know, in angles, down at the lower end, the angle is very little side to side. But you go up 14 decks and uh, you got this going. <laughs> and uh, so I, I got out of my chair and next thing I know, the ship lurks that way. Boom. I fell, hit my head on the side of the glass. Oh, God. And the scooter? No, no. No, no. He was no, I was heading the to the scooter. Oh, gosh. And I was getting out of the chair. And um, then I hit my back and my ribs on the on the frame, the window frame. Oh, man. Oh, uh, that really hurt bad. Oh, no, I'm glad you're uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Could well, you imagine you'd still be in Japan right now? I guess well, that wouldn't be a bad thing, would it? I don't know. I've never no, been to Japan. It wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh, no, no it wouldn't be. Uh, the Japanese, uh, one thing about the Japanese, they're very courteous, they're very concerned, and they're very efficient people. Mm -hmm. They don't like messy things. They don't like things laying around. So they're very efficient, and they take care of you. And, and if you came to Japan in good health, then you leave Japan in good health. That's their... That's awesome. Uh, but that said, you know, they had us go upstairs, and, and we did uh, acupuncture. And next thing you know, utilizing the scooter to get around, and with the acupuncture... It's a lifesaver for but, but you see how I am now. And a week ago, I couldn't even walk. Wow. So, Carol, did you ride the scooter? I only did once to park it because when he had to go to the sick bay, one of, one of the passengers took it to our room and left it outside, so I had to get on it and ride it. was really neat. I liked yeah. riding it. Now, one of the things that, that is of a benefit, the dining room staff, mm -hmm. they all know how to operate that scooter. Cool. They know how to operate that and then probably about 30 other brands. Right. You know. Yeah. And, Did um, you see a lot of other brands? Did you talk to anybody? Or? We didn't talk to anybody. No. We saw a few well, other we, brands. We, we saw, saw several that were like that. Like oh, you this. did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We talked, and we saw one lady. My God, she had a full-size unit, and I thought, oh, how'd she transport that thing? You know, different but, ways. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so glad y'all had a good time. You yeah, know, we're obviously really not nice. in Japan. If something goes wrong, we yeah. do rentals locally yeah. here, but you can pick them up and go wherever you yeah. want. Well, I will tell you this. It's very, very convenient. To rent a shipboard provided unit for this trip, $2,000. Oh, my gosh. So we, we need to charge you more next time. There you go. Well, <laughs> no. I appreciate you getting on here because the reason for this video, this review, and I didn't pull their leg, nothing. I mean, is so when you're at home, you can't really get out to shop or you're looking all over the place for mobility scooters. There's so many different ones and there's different reasons for them. The scooter he got was for traveling. It, it's not a scooter really meant to be for your yard, but it's really good for traveling and there's reasons for it. Um, and they have obviously are telling you that they liked it. They're not getting any money. They just, I just wanted to get them on here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, I really one appreciate the, that. One of the key yeah. things I probably forgot to mention to you that is real important to the airlines this scooter does not exceed the baggage weight. Oh, yeah. That That is really critical for the airlines, mm -hmm. for their weight and balance calculation. So this scooter, anytime the female ticket agent, I couldn't believe what she did. She actually stepped over with one leg on top of the counter, you know, the, the weight scale, and she picked that thing up, picked it right up off the floor, set it on the, on the scale, she said, okay, here, priority, gone. See, Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. In a skinny little Japanese girl, no problem. Hey, hey you <laughs> never know. Some people pack a punch yeah, in a small yeah, package now. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, Carol, Bob, thanks a lot. I'm sure y'all be back. Was everyone oh, yes. okay here? Was everyone nice to you here? Oh, yes. were, we, were we rude or mean? No, no. no. no, no everybody was wonderful. Staff here was really helpful. Uh, and I take it the lady who worked Denise, yeah. Yeah, she really has she's a really nice good. telephone oh, approach. Mary, Mary. Mary. Yeah, Mary. she's a nice telephone approach, and, and she knows how to get what you really want and need, you know. Yeah. Uh, she's not there to sell you stuff. She's there to just provide what you need.
the other thing we also found very interesting in your store, which is kind of unusual, are recliners. Yeah. And we're coming back to look at I've been promised. Oh, we boss. got some, we got some <laughs> awesome recliners. We got a new one with a Swedish massage. It's pretty oh, neat. Wow. Just came in last really? week. Yep, with 10 air bladders. I'm actually, after this video, I'm going to go over this scooter that I got, how it folds down, stuff like that. And then I'm going to show y'all some recliners we also have in this store. Okay. Yes. Um, and I will see y'all soon to yep. look at yes. some we'll recliners. Just bit, keep yeah. in mind, December's coming. Sometimes they take a little longer to get. Sometimes sure. we have them in stock. So don't wait till December. That's when we okay. get really, really busy. Sounds Thank great. you so much. All right. Yes. So the scooter we were just talking about is this one right here. And it's been one of our top selling scooters. We're actually one of the number one dealers in the country for this unit. And it's great for traveling. It's TSA approved. It folds down like this. You can actually put the seat up here. We have different colored shrouds. The battery's very lightweight. You can also charge the battery through the port so you can leave this scooter in your car. How you get it in the car, you don't ever have to pick the whole unit up because it's about 47 pounds with the seat and the battery removed. You use leverage. You can pick the front part of it up and put it on the bumper and slide it in is how it's been a big benefit to a lot of people that can't pick up 60 pounds. Some of those fold-up scooters are about 50, 60 pounds, kind of awkward to pick up. So basically how it comes apart is the seat can come right off. Now, some people just say, I don't want to take the seat off. Well, I get it, but if you want to make it lighter, take the seat off. It just comes right off. This is about uh, 47 pounds. Now, when I talk about leverage, it's like picking this up and putting it on the bumper. Now, this also has a built-on kickstand and handle at the back because it allows us to stand straight up. So, small hotel rooms, small cruise ship rooms, you have a couple options of storing it in your room is standing it up like this, or how it's designed is to fit underneath the bed of your cruise ship, because it's only about 12 inches. And then you can also grab it like this. He was saying the lady that picked it up was kind of small. It also has a basket that unfolds. It has a full light package. So it's really, really nice, very, nice unit um, we also have a power chair version of this scooter that we also like and it's the gp 130 if you're going to be using something more inside your house now he says he wants to come back and look at recliners when you look here we have a bunch of different recliners to choose from and they all do different things like for example this is our number one selling chair this is the pr 515 medium large and this is actually in shiitake Brisa, talking about Japan, shiitake brisa. Now this is a five motor system that has a patent design twilight technology. Which, what twilight technology does, it raises the front of the chair up to 30 degrees, so it puts you in a lot of different positions. So uh, swelling in your feet, lymphedema, um, a lot of health benefits can come from using twilight that I think you'll like. So check out the PR515 if you need a chair that gets your feet above your heart. It's made in the United States. It's very soft in this, um, this Breeza. We do have a whole bunch of different fabrics to choose from in our Breeza line and then from standard fabrics. They also make this in a small medium, which is right over here. Now, our newest chair, and I haven't talked about it too much yet, is the PR511. Now, what this is has storage compartments, cup holder, a power docking station that you can put a diffuser, uh, microphone, all different types of stuff can come here. You'll also get a tray that also can be put right there for eating. And it has a cool little storage compartment on the side of it. And it's a maxi comfort with power pillow and lumbar control. So it could go into a sleep, it's a sleep chair. But what this one has that you can add to it is this. Nirvana Swedish Massage. This has 10 chambers that's actually gonna pump up in here and just give you all types of different therapy, I guess. You also have heat right here also. So this is new. We think this is gonna be a good add-on to our chairs over the vibration. A lot of chairs offer vibration. This has heat and air bladders. So we'll be doing a video on that, talk to you a little bit about this, but we really we really think we're gonna like this, this chair. And this is our a new fabric, it's a fabric that's nice, it's a below the breeze, the breeze is the best, no question. And I think this is in Lagoon. This chair comes in three sizes, small, 
medium, and large. And then again, you have a whole selection of chairs to look at from different situations, from just a standard two button remote to an up, to a sleep lounge, to massage chairs, different ones. So if you're looking for a recliner or a lift chair, just give us a call at 803-926-2224 or visit us at liftchairusa.com. That's a point director directly to our main website about our lift chairs. And But if you need some help, you wanna to talk to someone, call us. We'll try to figure out which one's gonna be the best for you. And it just depends on what you need. Um, and then over here, I was telling you about the power chair version of the GP or the, of the carry-on. It's right here. Now you still have that full light package and how this works inside the house with the dual motor technology, how it turns, has a really nice seat and it's a wireless disconnection. So you would just pull this off, fold this down and pick this up. And this is another thing that you can travel with, but you can't use leverage to load it. But it is TSA approved. It is a nice unit, and it's meant for traveling, meant for inside your house. So my name's Chris. Our website is carryonusa.com, or just give us a call at 803-926-2224.